Welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Brad Weening. And I'm Dr. Paul Zalzal. Today we're going to discuss growth plate injuries. Okay, growth plate injuries. Common problem usually comes from the emergency room to the fracture clinic, a kid with a broken limb and a parent who is very concerned about the term growth plate injury. Yeah, rightfully so. Parents hear the term growth plate injury and they think, oh boy, is this going to affect my child's growth, uh, growth of a limb uh, in some way. So let's start at the beginning. What's the growth plate? So the growth plate is uh, the part of the bone in skeletally immature people, so children who haven't finished growing yet, and that's where the bone grows from, and it's usually at the end of the bone. The real term is uh, the physis. Yes, yeah, so this is just outside of where the joint is, and it's a place that uh, where cartilage lives, and eventually that cartilage is replaced by bone, and that's what allows all of our bones to get longer when we're kids. Yeah, and if you look at an x-ray of, of uh, uh, skeletally immature bone, you can see uh, the growth plate and it actually looks like a fracture even if the child's had no trauma you just take an x-ray of a, of a regular radius for example the growth plate often parents will look at that and say oh is that the fracture uh, yeah and that's actually how we can judge the what's called the, the bone age of a child and how much longer they're going to keep growing so when come when someone comes in with a broken wrist or a broken ankle and they have pain at the area of the growth plate Sometimes we tell them they have a growth plate injury if there's not a definitive fracture line. Well, that's right. And, and often the x-ray is normal, uh, but clinically we can uh, determine that the child has a lot of tenderness right over the growth plate. So we make the clinical diagnosis that, yeah, you have a growth plate injury, a growth plate fracture, even though the x-ray is normal. So that would be considered a mild growth plate injury. And then is there a spectrum of injuries? Right. They're classified from uh, 1 to 5, with 1 being the least severe and 5 being the most severe. And the vast majority, I would say, are probably 1s uh, and 2s. Fair enough. So when someone has a, a growth plate injury or a fracture around the growth plate, Typically, they're treated the same way as any other type of fracture in a cast or some type of mobilization. And then is there something different about the follow-up or the, the healing process, Paul? Sure. Uh, well, kids, first of all, heal faster than adults. So these injuries do heal much faster than an adult or skeletally immature, a skeletally mature person who broke their bone. That would take a lot longer. So the kids heal faster, but because of the risk of growth uh, interference uh, in the more severe injuries, we do follow them along probably out to a one or two years. Right, and so the possibility is one that the growth plate could totally close, and then that limb would stop being uh, stop growing and be a different length than the other limb. Or I guess the other possibility is that only part of the growth plate stops growing, and then the bone can actually develop a curvature. Right, uh, and having said that, the, the the occurrence of that growth disturbance is very very rare, yeah. especially in the most common. Uh, Salter Harris, which are the cl is the classification system. Salter Harris ones and Salter Harris twos, which are the most common. I personally have in a Salter Harris one or two never seen a growth arrest or growth disturbance. Have you in any of those? No, and these these are things that you see every single week in your fracture clinic. Yeah, they are the most common. Now, certainly with the fours and the fives, <coughs> the more severe injuries, yes, uh, you can. Uh, there is an, in, an increased chance of a growth disturbance, but not. It's very very minimal chance in the most common. Uh, types of fractures. So I guess the take-home message with growth plate injuries is that um, they are quite common. Most commonly they're very mild, but on the outside chance that something serious is going to occur, the surgeon or whoever's following the injury needs to follow it a little longer just to make sure nothing odd is going on. Well said. Excellent. Um, if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to email us at info at talkingwithdocs.com. And remember, you are in charge of your own health. See you next time. And one last thing, if you enjoyed this video, please like us on YouTube or subscribe to our channel. Thank you.